Now, in the last part, then, we've got to justify that the volume that we've got is a maximum. And to do that, there's two ways that we can actually do this. We can find the second differential, d2v by dx squared, substitute our value of x equals the square root of 50 into d2v by dx squared, and if it turns out to be less than zero, it signifies that v is a maximum. Or we can do the gradient test. I'm going to show you both methods, okay? So first of all, let's do the second differential test. If we differentiate again, dv dx with respect to x, we get d squared v by dx squared equals, and then differentiate 200, well that goes to 0, differentiate minus 4x squared with respect to x, and you get minus 8x. And we're testing when x is root 50. Remember, you're not meant to know that this graph exists as such, okay? Because I, I know we can clearly see it's a maximum here, but we've got to nonetheless carry out a test to show that it would be. So what we need to do is just say that when x equals root 50, we end up with d2v by dx squared is equaling minus 8 times square root of 50. You don't need a calculator to do this because all we're interested in is it a positive or negative value. And as you can see, it's negative. It's less than zero. And if this is the case, that means that therefore V is a maximum. All right, so that's one way that we can show that it's a maximum value. The other one is to do what we call the gradient test. And to do that, I would normally set up a table, something like this. Okay, we've got x in this case. Put some sections down here. And we look at the square root of 50. Now, the square root of 50, put it in the middle here, is in fact 7.07 .07 and so on. Now, you take a point to the left of 7.07, .07, fairly close to it, so I would suggest, say, 7 or 6. 6 will do, okay? And let's take a point to the right of it, let's say 8. And then we work out what dv by dx would be. Now, we know that dv by dx when x is root 50, the gradient is 0. But when we substitute 6 into dv by dx, the value you get is in fact 56, which is a positive value. And so that tells us that as far as the gradient goes, let's have a look at the slope, that it's increasing, going upwards. We know at 0, the gradient is flat, horizontal. Now the question is, what is going to be like when we put x equals 8 into dv by dx? Well, when you put 8 into here, you get a negative number, minus 56, which means that the gradient is negative and sloping downwards. So you can see that what we've got is a maximum point. Okay, The curve would come round like this and it would be a maximum point at x equals root 50. So that's the gradient version, OK? So we could say, therefore, v is a max. OK, either way, that's how I would do it anyway. OK, and that brings us to the end of this part, or the end of the whole question, actually. OK, 